wait, the title will be right here. Is this, is this good? Welcome to When Is This Over? Which brings me some deja vu because I was just saying this at rehearsal. For those who don't know me, I'm very involved in theater. I've been in several programs over the last four years and so it's a huge part of my life. And the thing about shows, which many of you wouldn't understand if you weren't involved in them, is the conflicting emotions of, I really want to do this show but I'm having some repercussions. Just like this show. I mean, I didn't know signing up to do a show meant that I'd sell half of my soul. But whatever. I didn't like sunlight and freedom that much anyways. But theater isn't one of those things that you can just give up so easily. You can try and run from it, but it follows you everywhere you go. And by it, I mean the directors. For example, I finally escaped rehearsal and here I am giving another monologue. If you still haven't got what I'm talking about, here's a little taste of what the theater life is. Bitter. Can I borrow a highlighter? Um, sure, just as long as you return it, I mean. Okay, well, what do you mean by that? Since you got the lead role, you've been kind of acting, I don't know, like you're better than everyone else. I just don't know why you're being so jealous right now. Okay, why would I be jealous of you? My dancing is on point. Pun intended. Yeah, but your singing kind of weak. My singing is not weak. You knew I had the measles. Okay, you know what? You're being ridiculous. I just wanted a highlighter. I'm just saying, I just want my highlighter back. I don't know why you're making such a big deal. I can't help it. I'm just this talented. <laughs> I just feel really attacked right now. And I don't, really, know, why I don't really know why you're making Kim Kardashian references. I'm just trying to talk to you. Oh, please. We're not in the show right now. Why are you still acting? Those are true emotions. I am not acting right now. Get over it! Queens. Can, can I please go to the bathroom? No, absolutely not. You can hold it. Late! We'll have to stay over. Maybe you should learn how to plan your time more efficiently. I'm so sorry I was late. My cat died. And so did your dreams and aspirations of being in this show. See, I've been acting since I was in diapers. I like read a completely different script and I still got the look. This is my 18th show. I only do shows with die pack. I've taken several theater classes. <laughs> no big deal. I memorized all my lines in two days. I didn't even audition, I still got the lead. I mean, I have my own TV show, but it's no big deal. I hope you enjoyed that skit. Our first and most likely only guest is here to give us input on theater. Please welcome Brandon Cini. Brandon, when did you start participating in drama? Oh my, wow. It seems so long ago, doesn't it? What's it been like, three months? I'm just glad to have made an impact on so many people's lives. Uh, right. Do you feel like you've been welcomed by all the cast members? Oh golly, yes of course. 
I've been able to do so much in so little time. Some have even said I'm an inspiration and that I now dominate the theater department. Uh, who said that? I don't want to brag, but really, who hasn't said that? Sure. What parts have you acted in? I've been Sandy from Greece, Alphaba and Wicked, Elder Price from Book of Mormon, and I've been Annie, which was kind of a drag because I don't look good in red. You did all of this in three months? I am very talented. It can be a burden. And what exactly made you want to pursue this? Well, I was voted most likely to be a better actor than everyone. I don't think that's... You want to see my headshots? I'm sorry, I just want to get back to... I have two! Zoom in, zoom in. Wow, those look great. Maybe you should show our director. She's backstage. Oh, goody! <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching, and to finally answer your question, it ends now.